Hey everybody, welcome to AV Epics. <laughs> I'm Dan Stacy, and you are about to witness my nerdy family and I use silly voices and a lot of D6 because we are playing in Cogent Alpha 1.3. Cogent, 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 Cogent. You, no. What? I was doing that. You, and I was, I was being your echo because you're so perfect. One flesh. Fine. Dodge that bullet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you haven't been keeping up with this, this is our holiday one shot. This one will be coming out on the Friday near Christmas yeah, so Day. What day? I don't like. What day? Is this going to be the, the the first day of summer? Happy or maybe birthday. <laughs> Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Okay. Boxing yeah. Day. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Right. Valentine's or. Anywho, it's the epiphany. Holidays. Cards above Zek and Austin to catch up on previous episodes. And, uh, man, I felt like it was something I was going to say, but pfft. we've done a bunch of behind the scenes content. So join our Patreon or our locals community to get access to that. Uh, you could join us in chat. Great Mustache was in the chat at our break. So if you're part of that, I'm going to turn the music down, but you could be part of that chat as well. Channeling a little, what's his name? I can't remember his name right now. But Father I can hear Christmas. <laughs> yep. I believe in Father Narnia Christmas. <laughs> Speaking of Father Christmas, in a brave new year. let's dive back in. Yeah. 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 Slide back in. Yay. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> if you we recognize. Just turn on the chair sideways. Oh, we can we can luge. Okay. No, no, no okay. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. There are two references. Before I begin with the recap, there are two references around our good player Zechariah. One that is an in game reference and one that is an out of game reference. Mm -hmm. If you can guess both of those, you're really cool. Comment below. Because <laughs> I don't feel like doing a competition right now. But uh, do try to guess what those are. I think he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. Nice, nice. <laughs> Thank you, because I love it. <clears throat> All right, so where we left off, because for the viewers who have been keeping up, this is one month later approximately. This Motley, the truest of Motley's crews. I look fabulous. That is absolutely true. I'm still mostly naked. I also, am still completely naked. <laughs> Both are also true. <laughs> Direct eye contact with every member of the party. <laughs> I have a fabulous belt on, and it's got a bunch of fruit in it. It's true. That is also true. Two it's, banana has, guns has and a the, whole lot of... Is the fruit intact in yeah, the belt? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, has the bananas are getting a little squished. Pineapples you can squish. It's just a little juicy, which meshes with his oil since he doesn't really bathe. Anyways, that's Felix the cat. What about that. Um, so... They have awoken this band of heroes, misfit heroes. What? Ha you guys are great. Okay. Have awoken <laughs> with this sense of impending darkness and something chasing you. You awoke to two fairies telling you, let's play some games. You traversed the fearful forest and faced your fears and came out grasping either your family and or yourself. <laughs> you gotta hold on to what you Sorry, yep. never, never and mind. then unbeknownst to all of you in game but meta you learn to be thankful for what you have as naked and or barely clothed by crystals you faced off against gobblers fully cooked turkeys backwards <laughs> <laughs> In a circular puzzle, check out the Interplanar Crossroads video where myself, Adam, and Levi discuss such traps and puzzles, um, and many more discussions with Zechariah, Austin, Jacob. They're all over there around the hearth. We love you, Adam. Awesome. Um, you guys successfully filled the cornucopia, placing the most important cherry on the top to complete the feast. Word. That wasn't it. The stone turkey became lifelike and surrounded you with your wings and suddenly crystal is not enough to defend against the 
bitter, icy wind and snow that is peltering your not-so-covered bodies. Peltering. Peltering. I have to Peltering. draw the line somewhere, <laughs> Dan. <laughs> <laughs> You're a naked dwarf. You can't draw any lines. <laughs> Grammar's important. <laughs> Spelling. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, it's Christmas. I'm drinking. I'm having fun. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Is it... C- just to be clear, Bruno, you're very hairy, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I, even though this is a Christmas episode, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured I'd wait for the Christmas one to ask that. You know, I think if he's... Uh, how did the baby ask that question? That's what I want to know. Because he wants to aspire to, to something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think if you haven't figured that out by now since we've been naked in the same trials together, yes. He held me, right? <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, he rolled endurance. Was it warm? Roll me a destiny roll, please. It has to be a destiny roll. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> you did this to yourself, Seven. Ryan. <laughs> Wait, I held him too. <laughs> You're very. Oh, fine. <laughs> I, I have also held a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Who hasn't held a baby? Who hasn't held a baby? Doesn't count. Doesn't, doesn't count, count in because we call it. Do I? Ho- it's on the. Yep, there it is. Seven. That dice well, is not like anybody. I'm just letting you know. Cheeks the boy ain't gonna be comfortably held by nobody because he's a fully grown man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but I'm not gonna body. turn down warmth if I'm gonna die. <laughs> and maybe... Felix was very angry and the angry makes him sweaty. So it's, I mean, it's... and Good to know. Oh dear. And what is it? Evaporation is a cooling process, so you mm-hmm. don't want to go to him. <laughs> well, that leaves you. <laughs> no, I think it still leaves me. <laughs> I'm still the hairy dwarf man. Wait, wait, I, I misspoke. tried to go for you. And I misspoke because I was looking because my eyes are drawn to the giant wreath. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno is very angry. <laughs> oh! oh. Which makes him very sweaty. Okay. I just wanted Good. to see how the conversation unfolded. I, I was Felix, I meanwhile, is always oily, so it's not really very comfortable. It's and gross. It's, cats are yeah, gross. Yeah, cats are gross. Cats are gross. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. more like... It's accurate. Here's the thing. Kenworth is not, like, prickly or oily, but he's wearing crystal armor. So I don't. I, All right. It does so. not insulate very well, but it Can does I, look awesome this time of year. It does. <laughs> it is chic. Can I like? It's true. Pull the hat down and and do like a Metal Gear Solid cardboard box. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Everybody roll endurance. Wow. Oh. Yeah, to- totally, oh, totally treating something. them that one. Bo- um, uh, bonus points for dwarf hair? <laughs> I mean, for Bruno, maybe. I don't know. Cat. I'll Bird. take it. The narrator is tipsy, Cat. so I Bird. am going to take that to the bank. <laughs> Cat. I didn't say what. Bird. You get bonus. Okay. I didn't say what the bonus was. This is roll, not good. Roll your endurance, please. Okay. Three. One, two, three. The CL is three. Oh, I automatically fail because I can't roll three. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's oh no, you roll three. Yeah, you get a base three. You always roll base three. You base three. three. You roll base one. one. No, oh. so he rolls a base two. Oh, okay. poor baby. Poor baby. Wow. It's just endurance. It's just no, it's just three. So you still you get base three plus your Let's. attribute. Um, and then any skill points if you have them. Well, if it's base three plus his attribute, that means oh, he has to roll point. at least four. His attribute is minus one because of feeble. So right. base three, minus one, two. Do you have any endurance? Oh, oh, oh. No. Yeah, so he's just rolling two die, so he auto fails. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. One. You know how... Uh, wow, okay. Felix? Two, three. Four, okay. Ah. Three. 
So Felix has some cat fur. He is made to stand this. Plus, he's got a lot of extra, you know, something, something all over. Belt. Y- yes. And fruit. <laughs> and fruit. <laughs> Wait, does three make it? Three makes it. Okay, I'm doing Every jumping jacks. Y- What's that? I have three. I'm doing jumping yeah, jacks. Yeah, you have you have been on deck in the cold, icy northern seas. Of so course. you can withstand this. It's not fun, but you can withstand this. Can I hug those around? Me? Everybody else I come from, a, from a warm environment. Is that minus one d six? If you didn't succeed, is does that uh, concatenate with? No, that other one was for last session. So right now you're word, just one. Can just I concatenate? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> As the turkey wings turned into a blizzard around you. Us turkey wings or the other turkey wings? No, 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 no. The, <laughs> the, turkey, oh, oh, oh. the giant oh, turkey wings. As they wrapped around you, expecting the warmth and comfort of a mother turkey wrapping you. Or a grumpy uncle on the couch yelling at the TV. Also true. <laughs> Assume the position. <laughs> Assume the position. <laughs> it turned into a blizzard and you're standing out here in the cold. You get that sense again, especially those of you who are feeling the cold, that something is gnawing, biting at you, eating you, wanting to just suck you of all heat, warmth, life. I think it really hits Cheeks the boy, feeling something wants to suck the life from you. And it's succeeding. Can I do a healing roll out of combat to be able to to re I don't know heat them? Yeah, sure. Yeah, to yeah. It's a minor. It's a minor wound. You're gonna only be able to choose one of them unless I specified. Oh, okay. So we. I have some homebrew healing stuff. Sometime in maybe this reality, Jake and I will do a video on that. Um. Out of combat. Roll same as combat. Single injury can only be healed. So what I'll do is say it depends on how long you want to take. Yeah, heal the Uh, the, the, the boy. So one. Ten minutes. Gonna be fine. Only the ten minutes you can pick one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because you probably shouldn't stick around for an hour. Mm. It's up to you. There will be consequences to how long you're there, but. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so should we keep moving? Or, or is it okay Twyla and Tweak here? do appear. Okay. So they will have some stuff to say. You can start healing if you want, or do you want to hear what they have to say first? Um, Because you can I be can healing the while time. they're talking. Yeah, yeah. But you're going to have to choose that you're only doing 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, I, will, I will heal Cheek. Okay. Heal the baby. Go ahead and roll that healing. You have 3d6 plus all attributes plus <laughs> proficiency. You have <laughs> So it's going to be, yeah. Plus all your attributes, Austin, plus stick your healing your hand skill. Through the middle of the wreath. Then it, uh, breaking the fourth wreath. So it's going to take him ten <laughs> minutes to do this. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> it's too cold <laughs> to pun. I, I've already Holy given. I'm only giving one cruelly. to everybody. <laughs> oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. They all made it. That, oh, that was great. How much did you get? One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? Yes. Wow. Okay. So I'm the strongest <laughs> baby! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's five over the CL. So, you can choose either to reduce the time or heal an additional person. I'll heal an additional person. Okay. Kenrith? He's got fur. It's... Never mind. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, Kenrith? No. No, he I was pointed. gonna say, Kenrith is an elf and a djinn. He is... No, my, my arm only goes so as far. The boy. Jin, not in the free. <laughs> so, Bruno. So, wait, but Bruno... Yeah, you did... Right. I failed. Yeah, I'm Israel doing jumping jacks. Succeeded. So, yeah, okay. So, um... Uh, tweak... It's too bad you're so um, frosty, oh, frosty and blue. I will bet that Twila could make twice the fire that you could. <laughs> Out of those trees over there. I mean, 
if I were you, I wouldn't even bother trying. But, um, you know, I, I think... I think that she could probably set at least five trees on fire before you could even Twilight's make it nodding. over to them. Roll me a persuasion plus one d6 to cancel out your minus because that was good. <laughs> Can I do a support? <laughs> sure, sure. Because I have an assist. Uh, uh, deception. Can I roll <laughs> yes. a deception? How are you flavoring it? Um... Are you giving power, magical power to his words, or? I want uh, Twi- Twyla to think, sorry, Twyla and Tweak. Tweak. I want Tweak to think that Twyla is feeling smug. Okay. Well, this is happening. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, roll the assist. CL3, so every win over three is an additional win to Kenrith's roll. Yes. Six wins out of seven. Wow. That is plus three wins, and it's going to be against his perception. Nice. Yeah. And I have four successes myself. So that's a total of seven. He's going to have to roll... A perfect roll. Here it comes. <laughs> Not a perfect roll? Yes. Nope, there's no way to do it. So he got four successes. It's not life or death, so the LM is not going to roll a perfect roll. So It was it was close to a perfect roll, but not no cigar. <laughs> Which I should probably have for New Year's. Okay. Um so as you're saying that uh, <laughs> through gritted teeth. All this, there are no trees when you say that. <laughs> and you see Tweak, like, puff his little pixie chest out, and trees suddenly f- start appearing, these pine trees. He's like, hey, 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 look at me. Uh-huh. If we were a celebrity name, we'd be Tweak. <laughs> 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 the plants just burst into fire. I'm going to take away that minus 1d6 for Kenrith as he warms up. (laughs) Because that was great. That was really great. Um, I am truly (laughs) impressed. Whatever. I could do the same. (laughs) You guys are surrounded (laughs) by fire around you. you I think we can't get us out of here, but Twyla can. (laughs) (laughs) They both laugh. (laughs) You always talk so much. As both of them say that together, you guys remember, you love these fairies. As much as they drive you crazy, this has been, this Mm. tricking them into doing things is a thing you've done so many times before. And you look around at everybody laughing kind of in the moment and enjoying Felix just talking and you're like, we've been here a hundred times. And there's this question of, is this the last time? Would, what would the world be without fairies? If you think about it, they're really just a part of our lives. Hmm. Something about you saying that stings really deep into everybody. A part of our lives. But you can't quite place it. And again, you feel that sense of... <sighs> Kenrith specifically, your fear of that which lurks in the darkness comes to you just for a fleeting moment. And that gets overwhelmed by the fight between the fire and the cold, but it's there and you know, you feel it. It's like something's always behind your soul, your I'm, shoulder. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to kind of put my back to the party so I'm like, I can scan out on the horizon mm. and maybe my hands are like unconsciously on my swords, mm-hmm. but just scanning watching and wary. You are able to see across the way just through just through the wizarding storm a single barren pine tree. It looks like it's dead and tied to it is some kind of bovine humanoid with its head down in bright red and white outfit 
tied to the tree. Oh, to the left. Just a little bit to the left. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's actually Excellent, just you. a little bit over there. <sighs> what is that? Yes, yes, you see, you see. What is Kenrith, it? roll me your perception. And you get plus 1d6 to the roll. Three successes. Three successes. Okay, see all three. I'm going to finish the scene, and then you'll see what you see. <clears throat> yes, 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 yes! Twyla's speaking. Oh, you see. Yes, it's our final game. It's the last game. Something about that stings each of your hearts, and you, you can't really place why. It's because it's the last one. We were having so much fun. Exactly! Were we, were we really having... Okay, Sometimes fine, yes. the fun doesn't hit you till after it's all done. <laughs> Tweak claps at his own rhyme. Twyla. So, um, the giver of gifts has been kidnapped by the evil elves. You have to rescue him. But there are traps. And they have weapons. Weapons white and cold. And now that you're so grateful for what you have, you can use what's around you to stop them, right? And you have each other, and you're not afraid. You can do. Tweet goes twirling up and sends blue powder everywhere. Anything! You can win! You can win! You we can, can do win it. the win! The we game. can do it! And the, the pixies start dancing. Win the game. They're like dancing, but they're flying, so they're like dancing in the air. Win the game. Win the game. You can win the game. Hee hee. Can you win the game, please? I need you. Twyla gets really up close to each of you one at a time looking at your eyes. I need you to win the game. I need we you can to win, win the game. Tweet gets really close to you two. I need you to win the game. Can you win the game? Yeah. Is there do it. a particular strategy to win this game? I don't know if I like it. Stop them all. Get out. Rescue. Save. But Defeat. my name. Rescue. Save. Defeat. Okay. Excellent. Oh, thank you. Kenrith, as you're saying win the game, you look out again and you spot... Funny little green hats popping up now and again over it, over the, the snow banks that are leading towards this, this bohan that's tied up to the tree. Well, there they are. Who knows what vincero means? I, I, you never told us. <laughs> vincero, vincero. And he starts to sing. He goes, it means victory. And he starts to <laughs> run <laughs> towards the green. Awesome. Through the fire. He's <laughs> whatever it takes. No, that's beautiful. Uh, the pixies start shouting the same thing in really high-pitched voices, like harmonizing with your singing. <laughs> and then pff, they vanish. We are going into combat phase. Nice. Bruno, you are at the front because you chose to charge in. Uh, and then Kenrith is next because of his perception. So it'll be as real. I'm going to roll. At, oh gosh. Sorry. Darn, I was doing Sorry. so good at Thanksgiving. You were. Mr. Rand. Thank you. Uh, what's that? Mr. Rand. <laughs> yes, Mr. Mr. Rand. Mr. Rand. He's a beautiful Are these one. elves? That's what I think. Pygmies? <laughs> that <laughs> other kind of elf. Um, okay, so... Not the kind of elf Felix that I was. And kind of Not the kind of elf that you um, were. <laughs> Cheeks. How did I forget Cheeks? Felix and Cheeks, roll a d6 to see if you go One, four. 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 Four, roll again. It's roll-offs until someone rolls higher. Two. Five. Okay. So, it's, it is 
technically, but you guys can coordinate as you see fit. Bruno, Kenrith, a- Avril, Thanks. Goblins, and then Felix and the Cheeks. Goblins. Goblins. Can I <laughs> with the um, green hats? If I go first, Kenrith. I can envelop everyone in a camo of snow such that it just looks like billowing snow approaching them and they don't know where a person is. You can roll an assist roll. Sure. But I'll you do can that. only choose one person to protect. Who's in front? Kenrith, Bruno? you're the one that spots goblins dressed as Christmas elves. Yep. Goblins who gave their soul to the devourer. <laughs> no. And turned into Christmas elves. <laughs> can I so can I roll a support on Bruno? Yep. Roll a support on Bruno. Go ahead. Because I have my harpoon gun now. No? How many you are negatives? given only... I'm still naked? No, it was taken care of by the heel. I'm, s- I'm You're still just wearing my crystal naked. underwear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Five. Five? That's two wins on your roll. Yes. Here's the thing. Remember, you're grateful for what you have. You hear Tweak's voice in your head. You're grateful for what you have. And look how much you have all around you. That is really easy to throw at people really hard. (sighs) And then everyone hears in their heads, Snowball fight! (laughs) The goblins pick up snowballs and aim to throw at you. Oh no. (laughs) <laughs> Not very well at all. <laughs> That's funny. Tiny little alarms. Okay, Bruno, also roll me a D4. A D4? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I want to stick true to Cogent. Roll me a destiny roll. <gasps> That's better. That's a little bit of the... What'd you get? You don't like this one. Ten. Reroll. Reroll on a ten. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Jazza, Shad, I don't want to deal with it. Twelve! 12. All right. <laughs> You're charging forward. Plus two wins to your roll. Go ahead and roll your attack okay. as you scoop up some snowballs. <laughs> and uh, Kenrith and... Can I argue swimming? Because it is the same Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> no! Because Yay! of the snow, I'm enveloping him in a... It's a wave of snow. <laughs> I am going to give Yay. you... Plus a D6 as an item because technically you already received an assist. You can't receive more than one assist. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll. Technically, we're doing this totally out of order because it's our other systems things, but the um, the goblins rolled a one. Oh, <laughs> so, yes. Okay. So, uh, Kenrith and Avril, what are you guys... Te- they're, the goblins are throwing snowballs at you. So, technically... Bruno, what are you doing as your main role? I'm sorry. Cheeks. I'm still on the... <laughs> Cheeks, what are you doing as your main role? I should do this correctly. Declaration phase. Um... I would like to do... Um... Five, four, three... Two, Can I one. find a goblin snowball and cast senescence on it to make it melt before it hits anyone? Yeah, absolutely. I love that. Yeah, roll senescence. Felix? Senescence is a thing? Senescence is the control of time, yes. effectively. Okay. <laughs> well, the control Sen- of <laughs> All these aging. years. Senescence is a thing. Aging, yes. Uh, I'm going to be dodging using my cat like reflexes. Okay, so that's good. And remember, your role is offense and defense. Right. So that would probably be acrobatics. Rather than... Yes, that's fine. Okay. I was thinking athletics, but I don't have athletics. That's strength. It's no, like... acrobatics, you're definitely... Acrobatics. No, no, yeah, yeah, because I have acrobatics. Impossibly agile <laughs> for a fat cat. So... Well, you see, you, you actually rumble upwards instead of side to side. <laughs> and so you, you, you leap... Taller and over things, and 
It's it's actually quite amazing. You should try it sometime. Because of the way Felix is built, you can roll a persuasion on yourself as an assist roll if oh, you desire. Oh, good! <laughs> He's talking himself through it. So, <laughs> Kenrith and Evriel. So because the wanna, goblins are throwing snowballs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my shield and plant it in the ground so I have a barrier. Nice. Then I'm going to scoop up snowballs, and I'm going to harden them into crystalline ice and start <laughs> passing them to my teammates. Nice. Oh my gosh, I love that. Uh, roll that Chris Mage, which yep. is finally Yay. a pun hey. <laughs> on the Christmas episode. Uh, I rolled a four for an assist for myself. Okay, plus one win to your whoop, whoop. main roll. Okay. And roll it up. The goblins rolled a one, so I think you guys will do just fine. I rolled a five. Total? Five wins, yeah. Five wins, okay. And he has three for me, mm. right? Everybody roll me a destiny roll other than Bruno. Bruno already rolled one. Three d6. Yep. Oh, I lost it. Six, okay. <laughs> What'd you roll for your main roll? What are you doing? Um, so I will be using my acrobatics to mm. be doing some cartwheels, some flips, some picking up some snow and throwing it at the same time. Okay. That's fine. You know, I realize core skills can't be used for combat, so that would be defensive rolls only, but that gets you closer. Well, you won't be doing damage to the goblins, but it will get you closer to... The uh, I'm I'm fine with it being this way because we're not doing true combat right now. Okay, twelve. Twelve. Okay. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Sorry, you're good. Four, four on my destiny roll. Was that what you were asking? Yep, four in the destiny roll. Okay. Four. What was your destiny roll though? Four total. Destiny six, was six. Six was my yeah. destiny roll. Okay, role. and then what's your main roll? Your four. attack. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you no, know, I got you. <laughs> okay. Yep. I have five on my um, assist. Okay. Everyone has hardened snowballs. Yep, everyone has hardened snowballs. Okay, so you guys are the way you push through because the co- goblins were just not expecting hardened snowballs, nor the naked belted dwarf charging through completely disguised in this flurry of snow that seems to not unhinder his travel at all. Um, do you have something to add to that? No. Or? No, you're just happy with it. Okay. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Bruno Vincero. And then this <laughs> rotund cat doing perfect acrobatic moves mirroring this pristine, beautiful elf they seem to be moving as one in this dance around the snow, getting towards this. Could it be that, like, we slow mo, we're facing each other, and there's like snow sparkles <laughs> yes. around us yes. as, as we're throwing behind the other person? With the nutcracker <laughs> in the back. Felix background. is like slightly, like, part of his body is ro- rotating faster than the rest of him. <laughs> you, you, see my, you see my belly kind of wrap around behind her head <laughs> as he's trying to catch up. <laughs> Just a soft caress. Of right. Her. <laughs> I'm wondering. Uh, I'm so long here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. You're welcome. And then, wh- what was your flavor on your offense defense roll? Uh, I, I would senesce any snowball coming at right, me. Right. That's right. And it would just melt away. Yes. Yeah. And you rolled five. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's four victory levels over. And then four, right, for Kenrith? Five. Five, also five. Okay. I also rolled five. You rolled five as well. Now, acrobatic can't be an I attack. also rolled a five. Okay. But you roll. what did you, <laughs> <laughs> no, you wait. What did you roll? Uh, four, actually. Four, okay. But it's still over, <laughs> it's still three victory levels over the one. As you, as you um, all attack, however, Kenrith, as you're slowly moving your shield forward, you hear a ching as a trap releases. And all of a sudden you feel yourself stuck inside snow. Everybody else sees Kenrith is a pristine snowman as a trap unleashes. 
And as at, as this moment of the fur oh caressing, <laughs> yes, they're sticking. <laughs> my walk, freezing, freezing. On here. the opposite oh. side of the this space from the elven gin is the other, the sea elf, with her dark ears sticking out of <laughs> the same snowman. You guys will now have to spend your next turn getting out of the snowman as your destiny rolls put you in a trap and you didn't roll high enough to avoid ah. it. Get her. Um, okay, so Felix is the closest to the Bohan who's trapped and you can hear him. Uh, oh, help, help, help. Oh, it's a boy Bohan. It is a boy Bohan. Okay. We've yes. never met one of those before. It's, it's true. ruddy red like um, oh, I'm blanking on the, 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 the breed that's red, but, um, that kind of classic bright red and orange, but it has very white growing into its beard and hair here. And it's dressed in all red and white and tied to this I mean, I missed something. tree. You guys are smiling. So we have one more round. Felix can get to... The Bohan, Father Bohan. Father, <laughs> Father Bohan. <laughs> That's what the title is. Father Bohan. <laughs> the right, rescue so of Father Bohan. The goblins you are hitting are down and out and gone. Two more pop up from behind. And they start trying to mimic uh, Bruno's style. And they're going to roll so... Their declaration. I'm just gonna do them last because it's they're throwing snowballs. Right. So cheeks the boy. Um. So I want to try to. Can I somehow age the tree that he's on so that it would just break apart Ooh. so that fa- Father Bohan would be free because the tree is just rotting away. I like that a lot. Okay. Yeah. That's sure. Cool. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. It grows out and squishes the goblins at the same time. Felix, yes. declaration? Um, five. Four, that was amazing. Three, two, one. I want to... Use okay, David. <laughs> <laughs> I was Yay! I was trying to see. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I want to heal Father Bohan. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, all right. That puts you at a CL three to hit. Uh, custom homebrew oh. healing rules that I do doesn't count. No, that's the destiny roll. I know. You're rolling your oh, d6, you your so thing. that's 20. fine. Okay, uh, Bruno, no, Bruno's first, so Kenrith and Azriel are kind of at the same time. Drink. <laughs> Drink, Avril. Please. All right. Nah. Oh, me too. I want to watch you drink right I now. I can't believe it. <laughs> Cheers. That. Cheers. It. Someday so we'll have AV Epics mugs, but... Are you all out? I'm all out. Phil! Da, da, can you grab a second drink? Da. Phil, can you feel it? It's not a... <laughs> Would you mind? Just topping me off a spot. We're having a bit of holiday cheer, and I'm all cheered out. Evriel, what are you doing while he gets topped off? I... Um... I want a uh, rapier to come out of the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. All right. All right, see all three to break out of the snowman. Burns okay. herself out Ma- of the snowman. <laughs> Makes his any and Audi. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do another and cheers And I'm going to spend once. a destiny point because oh. I can. Yay. All right. Yay. Oh, my a gosh. I have destiny points. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Two. I forgot about that. <laughs> Two? <laughs> Even with a destiny point? <gasps> okay. <laughs> I got a six. Does that matter? It will, yeah. It will. Uh, it matter extra cheers. That? <laughs> As Zek is now topped off. Cheers, yeah. cheers. Yeah. Love you guys. Yeah. Cheers. Do you need help? Awesome. Right. Thank you, Phil. 
Um, <clears throat> okay, that's <sighs> hilarious. Oh, excellent. Uh, so, Kenrith, you have to break free of the snowman. Go ahead and roll CL3. I'm going to do acrobatics. Sounds good. I'm going to try and slip down into the, um, into the, into the base mm-hmm. of the, uh, of the snowman and then leap out through it. Awesome. Awesome. Like a, like a festive seasonal al- um, alien, um, homage. <laughs> That's Festive awesome. Seasonal. All the people around Alien. the room screaming yes, like, yes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, I th- did I already give you a destiny point? Oh, you did, but you can give me another one. I would love it. I'm only giving one it's a Christmas per person. Spirit. Christmas it's a season spirit. of giving. It's a, it's a <laughs> session of giving. Uh, Bruno, what are you doing? I want to go, how close am I to the Bohan? You're pretty close. Okay, I want to run. You will get there in this round as long as you roll higher than the goblins. The goblins are right there. Will I get there before Cheeks? Yes. Cast his spell. Before he casts his spell. Uh, no, not so. This is all kind of happening at once and cool. covers a large amount of so time. So as no, I yeah. see that he casts the spell and rocks also the because tree. you're going first, you get advantage in knowing what he's doing. Right. Okay. So, yeah. so I would like to see, like, I am running, I'm dodging snowballs, and as I see that the tree rots, I want to just run and jump and kick the tree down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all right. I just, or, like, dive into it, because I know the Bohan is significantly taller than I am. Right. Like, is he sitting and tied, or? No, he's, he's standing. standing. You can so still jump. Please don't kill right. Santa. Here's what I'm gonna say. His Father name Bohan, is Saint Nicholas. It's because uh, you what, based based on his based on Cheeks the boy's roll. It's a CL two to hit it. Okay, that's um, what I want to do. Yeah, I, I yeah, go for it. Roll it up to determine your defense against the snowballs. Could as well. I argue? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> as she is swimming, swimming. through the tree. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, and uh, so I'm gonna roll for the goblins. Not much better, too. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, it was six for Cheeks the Boy, I believe. And I'm going to use a destiny point. Yeah. Nice. All so right. So that means I count threes. Threes and up count. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm keeping him. That's how Disney Point works before. Oh, the then Three, I had four, four, five, six, nice. seven. Okay. Seven. Wow. Woo. That was a complete success. That, yeah, All absolutely. Oh, oh, a critical success. Critical. Yeah, critical success Woo. or critical Woo. fail critical. Is, critical. is all successes Sorry. or all failures <laughs> on your roll. Yeah, okay, good Does to know. Does that mean something special? Yes. Absolutely. I didn't and then it that. was six, I think, for Use Cheeks the, the Boy, if I remember right. Burst yeah. into flames. And I got five on my acrobatics to come bursting it. out of the snowman. 100% come bursting out. Felix, what'd you get? I got six. Six as well. Okay. Wow, we're better at cogent the third time around. <laughs> <laughs> the third time around. So, okay. You guys, there's this flurry as these goblins are just whipping snowballs everywhere, but Felix uh, continues his dance and picks up those crystalline balls left over from Kenrith's creations and just starts throwing them upside down, backwards, Matrix-style, dodging the snowballs from it. And meanwhile, uh, Cheeks the boy puts on a concentration baby face, which is like, what have you put in front of me? Is I don't he know. Poop? But it's po- it's poop. <laughs> it's yeah. a poop. It's a poop. That's what's happening right now. <laughs> in focus. There's this shield that protects Slow you from poop. all the snowballs coming at you as the tree starts to die. And Bruno is just doing this. Yes. Nobody knows that reference. I do. We don't have copyright. <laughs> 15 seconds, 15 we're seconds, fine. Seconds. Yeah, no, jumps through the air and smashes through this withering, collapsing tree, smashing through it just as Kenrith, you dive out like a glorious alien through the snowball and then throw some crystals to release Avril, who is struggling to slice this snowman into the No, I the got fun. four now. You have four, that's right. I have you succeeded. four, not two. Scratch that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Reverse that. <laughs> um, 
you you and Kenrith burst forth in different ways. Kenrith bursting forth is this like violet fluorescent crystal alien coming out and just <laughs> ah, just throwing these crystal balls, taking out these goblins with extreme prejudice. More than any of the others of you. And <laughs> meanwhile, Avril comes out in this swirling dervish and just the snow is sparkling around her and she just looks and just throws one perfectly placed snowball right into the last goblin who goes down as Bruno breaks through the tree, spinning around, catching gently this bohan twice his size. And the Bohan. And half of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> but the, Bruno would have half the hair of the Bohan, but which is still a lot. That was the uh, extra yeah, yeah, shit. That it. was okay. the bit. And as you all were covering, the, the goblins go, ah, rotten deal, rotten deal. They just vanish in a puff of snow. And suddenly, the pixies appear on either side of the Bohan sitting on his shoulders is Bruno you're holding him <gasps> you won the game you won the game I knew it I knew we could do it we could come together we could fight the forces of I was gonna say evil but um snow goblins and but what turkey. did you learn what did you learn uh, well as my great old uncle Fabula used to say, um, teamwork. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is. Yes. Cold. Dreamwork. <laughs> teamwork. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. I don't He's, know. He had amnesia actually, and he couldn't remember the last part. Well, he I just kept remembering so... the first part. You remember each other. <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you remember us? Well, yeah, you, you tweak, and you try to. Yeah. You're really impossible to forget. You're a part of our team. I was going to say, you're really impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's it. The scene all fades and melts away, and you're just in this dark space with slight light around all of you. It's not an evil dark space. It's just nothing in this moment. And Tweak and Twyla are kind of glowing as the light. So. Sorry. Well, that's okay. I'm getting the sense that you have to leave. We're gonna soon. Because, uh. You need to finish what you started. What is that exactly? I don't seem to remember that part. You will soon. I'm sorry. Twyla says, yeah, it was kind of our fault. You guys were doing so good. And, uh, but then they got us. <sighs> and you came for us, even though we like to play games. And that's the only way we knew how to bring you out, was to play games. It was really fun to play games one more time. Hmm. Can you finish what you started? Can you win the game? Well, yes, I, th I think so. I, I think for you, uh, we, we, can, we can finish this game. Uh, do you believe in us? We can do it. Oh, we always believed in you. <laughs> You've been so much fun for so long. You came all this way. Leftover shadows. <sighs> you stopped most of them. There's just the last one. That's we can win that game too. Right? Shadows. Vic, 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 Vinciro. Mm. Yes. No, that's no. I mean, victory. Like we, we got this. Victoire. We will defeat the shadows. The one shadow. That big shadow. No. Well, if it's the whale thing, then, <laughs> then no, Avril will be able to get us out of this. It's something bigger. Well, it could be if it ate it all of us, but it's just it's not going to get us. Because we're giving it all to you. So you can finish the game. That's very generous. Well, you've we, saved all of us. Is it possible you finish the game with us? No. But you're part of our team now. You've had all of this fun. Do you really 
want to stop, think about what we could be with you. Think about what we would have been without you. That's really true. Think about how much more fun there might be in one last game. Do you have general knowledge? Not at all. Real general knowledge. <sighs> I am, I'm a little bit intelligent. Yep, you got intelligence. intelligent. And, um... <sighs> it's only a CL2 on this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do. Awesome. You, as you're saying this, you start to realize their pixie dust is coming off of them and is slowly streaming into all of you. And you feel their essence. You start to feel, you realize you haven't felt solid this whole time. Not like a crystal is solid. Not like how you know crystal is. And now you're starting to feel it and it's cracked and broken. And they're repairing the cracks. We'll always be with you, in a way. It's been so much fun to play. Win for us. Cheeks is, as as it's happening, Cheeks is gonna say, tell me what it's like. I don't know if it's the same for humans. But it's gonna be a great adventure. And we're ready to play. Because you're going to keep everyone else safe. In that moment, you realize you're talking to the prince and princess of the fairy realm. You remember you were called into the outer veil, one of the seven realms, to defeat a leftover ma monster from the devourer. It's not as powerful as it once was now that the Devourer has been broken into a thousand pieces and scattered into the void, but it still thirsts and hungers and was left behind and is feeding. But Twyla and Tweak were captured. You knew it was a trap and you walked right into it. And now, you have to stop the thing that's taking all hope and wants to end time itself. This has been another fantastical episode of AV Epics, an Avenue Studios production. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry do we do Christmas. this every year? <laughs> Wait, can I just say, when we were planning this, I texted Dan and said... Hey, are we doing something serious or comedic? And he said comedic. And I said, okay, I'll play a baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then he pulls this. So now, just to be clear, this serious thing is happening, and I am a baby standing here, pooping myself, and there's serious stuff happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's I was this way. Uh, <laughs> together as a team, hoping ourselves to victory for the sake of the realms. I really meant it. And when I said this to you, I meant stop it. I thought it was going to be funny the whole time. We were just going to laugh. <laughs> it's funny. But I'm super invested. I can't go back. I can't say I'm actually not a baby. <laughs> oh, a oh, actually, I just <laughs> cast a spell. And I'm going through puberty right now. Right now. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it worse. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. So now we get I to decide. I don't remember. If that's for the locals community or for the whole shebang. Oh, that's for the whole shebang, right there. Because yes. that's what we do. Uh, I don't remember when it happened. And I suddenly realized, oh, this is really intense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell Ryan. Was it the baby? <laughs> Can you just imagine, like, we see the prince and princess of the fairy world die into nothingness, and you just see the back of us, and it's just a bunch of bare butts? 
<laughs> we're still naked. We're still naked. I never got to use my harpoon gun. Here's the thing. Only Cheeks the boy is still naked. <laughs> well, that's Just my butt. I have my belt. <laughs> no. Uh, a single uh, pineapple. A single pineapple. <laughs> I love these guys. Strategically so, placed uh, pineapple. <laughs> If you're listening to our podcast, do give us a review to help spread the word. Subscribe, hit the notification bell to follow the adventure. <laughs> and if you wish to further support us and become a part of the Evergreen Forest known as Avenue Studios, become a part of our patron at Locust Community, and you will gain access to not only bonus content, but also our exclusive Discord where you can chat with us, play games, and so much more. Don't forget to check out the links in our description below for the music and ambience that we use. And thank you so much for joining the adventure. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. All that good stuff. We'll see you at New Year's. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>